Well, testing is underway for a high-speed rail here in the Bay Area, and KPX Science Kit Doe shows us what is being done to see if our ground can handle trains moving at high speeds. And here they are. High-speed rail crews are finally here in Santa Clara County. Let the testing begin. Here in the southern part of Santa Clara County on a nondescript road in the small town of San Martin is the dirty, unsexy work that has to get done. Crews are drilling for soil samples 125 feet below the surface. And I know this is a good region for planting garlic. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's probably clay based on the, the rate of the, the drilling. It's pretty slow, so it's probably pretty hard clays right here. The samples provide valuable information so that geologists know exactly what they'll be building on. You don't want to have this high-speed rail system settle. You don't want to have other issues such as liquefaction or other soil conditions that cause the track to tilt or, or, or shift in any way. And so the data that we collect here will help us determine how to design the foundation so that none of that happens. Further south near Gilroy, crews are testing how the soil handles vibrations. After high-speed trains in the UK and Sweden were built, engineers learned the hard way about so-called Rayleigh waves. The train pushes in uh, a wave in front of us, and the soil is, is not strong enough to, to resist that wave, and so you, get a, you start getting a motion in your, in your embankment because the supporting soil isn't strong enough. And so engineers are conducting shake tests to simulate a train passing by. Remote sensors that are strung along a 187-foot line measure the surface velocity of those waves. The big question, is the ground strong enough to avoid the Rayleigh wave phenomenon? If we do find out with this testing that we, 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 we can introduce Rayleigh waves into the, in, into the soil, then that would uh, be an area that we potentially would need to Mitigate. And if you're curious, federal law limits the speed of the train between San Francisco and San Jose to 110 miles an hour. The train can go up to 125 miles an hour in between Gilroy and San Jose, but that all depends on how the environmental review goes. In San Martin, Kitto, KPIX 5.